In 1999, a group of volunteers decided to go abroad and assist after an earthquake in Izmit, Turkey. This rescue mission revealed to the team a very serious skill shortage in search and rescue in Southern Africa. Out of this was born the concept of Rescue South Africa. So in 2001, an NGO was formed called Specialized Rescue South Africa, or more commonly known as Rescue South Africa. The vision was to enable Africans to be good citizens of the world, to show the world that Africans can help themselves and offer humanitarian services worldwide. Rescue South Africa had three primary objectives. Firstly, to respond to sudden onset disasters and provide technical rescue skills, regionally, nationally and internationally. To build a cache of equipment to be used for both training and response. And lastly, to build capacity by offering high quality rescue training regionally, nationally and internationally. An approach was made to USAID for funding and eight American rescue technicians were brought out to South Africa who in turn trained 26 trainers from emergency services. This group of trainers have literally trained thousands of South Africans right up to the level of urban search and rescue technician. And in fact, these courses are now offered in South Africa at four universities, many EMS colleges, as well as some fire departments that train emergency services students, right up to the level of rescue technician. Part of the funding went into putting together a cache of rescue equipment, which weighs approximately 60 tons and is probably worth anything between 50 and 60 million rand if one was to buy it today. And in fact, it is the most comprehensive use of cash in sub-Saharan Africa. As part of our capacity building, Rescue South Africa ran training in eight SADC countries. Botswana, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Swaziland, Namibia, Madagascar and Zambia. And the people trained in these, those various countries were the first to be exposed to this type of training in sub-Saharan Africa. From the SADC countries, 60 urban search and rescue technicians were developed. Rescue South Africa has proudly responded to different types of sudden onset disasters. In Mozambique was a good example where Africans were seen to be helping Africans and received a commendation from INSERAG, really almost unheard of, for the spectacular rescues that we carried out in Beira in 2019. Today we have a tried and tested model and track record including standard operating procedures and logistics that enable us to do these responses. One of the highlights of Rescue South Africa's history is receiving the Ubuntu Award, recognizing the work it's done in promoting South Africa globally. A positive outcome from our development is that thousands of South Africans, as well as those in the SADC region, have been trained as USAR technicians. As well as various courses for our outreach program, our standard USAR courses are accredited by the University of Johannesburg. We're now starting to reach out to emergency services in the region to offer assistance in technical rescues.